Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, where I share all sorts of information about making and saving money online. I like to sell on eBay and Etsy, make sure it's for merch by Amazon, and all kinds of other things. Thrifty living, all sorts of tips like that. And today I have a jewelry jar for you. I decided to go out thrifting today. I haven't been done doing some here and there, but I decided to go outside my normal area and see what I could see. And at the last stop, lo and behold, I found six jewelry jars. And my rule for buying jewelry jars is I have to find something in the jar that will pay for it, or I think will from what I can see looking at it. And so I bought them all and came home after that. So here I am with one. This was the most expensive jar at $29.99. I bought the others. All the rest were $19.99. So here we go. I'm gonna open this jar up. I have two tools with me. I have got a magnet because I can't find my other magnet, my technical jewelry magnet, and also my loop in case we come across any marks that we wanna take a peek at. Look at that. Oh, my loop. Okay, I am live, um, and so I may be talking to people in the chat. Uh, so, hello, Quickie Girl and City Thrifter. Hi, Tiff Thrifts and Glenn the Swamp Pickers there. Hello and bye. <laughs> Hi and bye, Glenn. Um, Delinda, Cheryl, hello. Rocket Resells and Angela Kaler, hello. Okay, so let's do it. So I know right off the bat, like seeing this Claire stuff might have been a turnoff for somebody who just glanced at the jar like, oh, I gotta make my money back on Claire stuff. But what was it? Where did they go? There, there was something. There was. It was like this um, sort of Aztec Mayan thing. It may have slipped down in there, but it looked like this, like, if you know what I'm talking about, it looked like a little Aztec or Mayan pendant um, figure. Uh, I can't think of what it's called. I think this is the jar that it was in. And there, where did they go? Okay, I can't find it. We'll see. All right, so I'm gonna rip it open. Oh, you know what I realized? I didn't get any scissors. I might have scissors in my drawer. Let me look. No, no, okay. Um, what would you ask in price for a Whiting Davis gold evening bag? Well, I guess it depends on, I don't know very much about, I mean, I know Whiting Davis is a costume jewelry company. Oh dear. And there's no scissors in my cup. Where did they go? This is why I always buy scissors. They vanish. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I have to look up solds and things on the Whiting Davis evening bag. Oh my gosh, seriously. My scissors are gone. And let me check my drawer one more time. Hey, Rand, do you have any scissors over there? My scissors are gone. Uh, yeah, Rope and Reseller says, I know $30, like, $30 might seem like a lot, but sell two things for $15 and you've made your money back. Yeah, totally. Thank you, Randy. Sorry, yeah, my scissors have vanished from my... Oh, you brought me from me too. Hey. <laughs> All right. Ta -da. I always buy scissors at garage sales and thrift stores because they always vanish. Okay, here we go. Hello, hello. Hi. Uh, in the chat. Okay, I'm cutting it open because now there are some loose pieces and beads right off the bat on top, but that's cool. We'll just throw them in a tub. Um, they have deleted bags and jars from my area. Oh dear. Um, yeah, some places. Okay, I'm feeling the tape off. Sorry, y'all. And I threw some staples in there just in case your stapler was empty. Um, yeah, I've been hearing that people. And mine, honestly, for a while there. We're not. I wasn't seeing them very much at all. So, yeah. All right. So, has it started? Yes. Um, refresh, quirky girl. All right. So, first up, we've got these little earrings in here. They'll probably go into a lot. Codina. I don't know that brand, but they're just simple little earrings. Ta da! Um, then we've got this that goes into a humidifier. So, yeah, that'll go into a lot or something, too. This is kind of a cool bracelet. I got to wipe the sticky off of it. But it looks like it's woven reeds or something under there. And then it's got this lacquer um, on top. Not lacquer, but you know, this shellac stuff to harden it up. It's pretty cool. I bet I could sell that. There are people that are really into like the natural looking things. So I'm, I'm, I'm betting I could sell that for 15, 17 bucks. I'm going to say yes to that one. Then we've got this looks like a homemade bracelet. So this will probably go into a lot as well. Maybe I'll try to sell it locally. I don't know. We'll see on a local site. And I'm going to put I have some earrings here. So I'm going to set them to the side until I find their mates. 
you go there, you go there, you go there. Okay, cool. Hello, hello, Colorado. Okay, oh, this is so T9C. Okay, little tiny bangle bracelet. Yeah, because it fits me. But no, can we get it off? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Not at all real gold, but that's cool. Hello, I hope everybody's doing well. This is kind of cool. Okay, is it missing any stones? This is stretchy, but I, I kind of like it. It's kind of got a, um, almost like an Indian look to it to me. So it's got these pink circles, blingy, and it's gold, stretch. Now, I'll, I'll probably sell this because the elastic in it is really still very strong. If it was all like sprung and the elastic was all limp, I don't know what the technical term for that is, then I probably wouldn't. Let's see, what do we have next? Let me, uh, detangling. I always say, I had to do this before the show, but then I don't. So, oh wow. All right. <laughs> Okay, again, oops, there she blows. This is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna unclasp this to share with you. It's a bracelet. If I can unclasp it, oh, wrong side. It's really pretty. Hang on. This is a gold tone. Hang on, I'm trying to get it untangled there a bit. Bracelet that's got these little stones in it. Isn't it pretty? Oh, there's another kink. It looks like two stones in it. It's got a, no, three, four, darn, there we go. It's got a red one, a blue one, it's like almost a citrine one, and a brownish one, or another red one. Ooh, it's pretty. Let me see if it has any marks on it. That would be cool. I don't see any marks with the naked eye. <laughs> hey, North Carolina. How's it going with the weather, y'all? Okay, it is magnetic, but it's super pretty, and I love how how dainty it is, shout out from Ohio. You guys are cold up there. So yeah, I will sell this. This is really dainty, really pretty. I love it, I love it. Okay, <laughs> ooh, here we go. This is some brass knuckles, not even joking. But that looks like it would just like break my fingers, you know, because it doesn't go on all the way. But I mean, I guess that's for a, ch a child size brass knuckles. Why not, right? You you want to send your girls to school in style. You don't want anyone to mess with them. But so you send them with, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, this will probably go into a lot. It's missing a couple of little stones in there. Hey, Maggie, how's it going? Oh, hello, Australia. Hot in Australia. Oh, this is super pretty. I like this bracelet. It's got these, they're almost like chevrons, but they're not symmetrical completely. And yeah, that's a cool bracelet. I like that. Almost like it for me. Almost. Yeah. Kids have to go to school in the head. Yeah, for kids. Yeah. You want your girls to kick A in style, right? Okay, I'm leaving some bracelets up here. We've got another little ring. This is a ring. It's almost, almost kind of like a quilted look to it. Any marks? I don't see any marks. It doesn't look high quality. Um, but it's not magnetic, but that doesn't mean that it's silver or anything. It just means it's not magnetic. All right, so there's that ring. I might clean it up and see if it'll sell. It, meh, I don't know. We'll see. That's a maybe. In the maybe pile. Huzzah, Pennsylvania. Chili in the UK. Hey, treasure pirate. All right, more earrings to sort. Put these over here. Haven't found the mates for them up here. But yay, <laughs> it gets to watch live. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so this is a crucifix. And it looks like it's maybe brass. I'm gonna check it out with my, I'm gonna look at it with my loop because I don't see any marks, but it's really nice. So here goes, I'm going in. I'm looking for a mark. Oh wait, I do see a mark. You guys, it says 14K. So, right, you see it, right there, 14K. So this gets to go in my testing pile. Am I, wait, all, all, all isn't, ma what is, all isn't magnetic, she says. I'm, I'm not sure which one you meant. So not magnetic, marked 14K. Hey, Randy, we may have gold. Yay. All right, so I'll have to test, test this one out. Cause that's a nice size piece if it is sweet i'm gonna try to rub 
because it doesn't shine like gold, right? It's not, I don't know, but hey, maybe it's just dirty. <laughs> I want to go get my testing kit and test it for you. Hang on. I'm going to rub part of it on my pants and see if I can get it shiny. I don't know. Kind of. Kind of. Ooh, I'm excited now. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> what aren't? What, what metals aren't magnetic? Um, well, to be magnetic, it has to have like iron um, or some ma metals are magnetic and some are not. Oh, it is shining up. Hang on. It's just dirty. So it looks kind of brassy because it's kind of dirty. But I'm rubbing the back with the back of my shirt. But, oh, test it, Treasure Pirate says, I'd have to go run and get the kit so you can see it's kind of shining up where I rubbed right here. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna set this to the side. Maybe at the end I'll run and get my kit. Oh, you haven't used it yet? Oh, darn. Okay, um, and then, oh, okay, that's an earring over there. Let me put that with the earrings. Yay, exciting, okay. Cause that's a nice bit. Well, that takes care of that. Me feeling bad that I spent so much money on jewelry jars today. Ta-da, yoo-hoo. All right, so, hi, Nevada. <laughs> There's gold in them there, George. Were you here, Nevada? Look, ta-da. Gold. We gotta test it though, just to make sure. Okay, so here we go. We just started, we just started. I haven't gotten very far at all. Okay, so I don't see any marks on this one. And it is magnetic, so if I find ones that are magnetic, it just generally means that, you know, it's not gold or silver. Um, pure gold or pure silver. Okay, here we've got a nice bangle. I, I know I love selling bangles. This has got a nice, do you get credit if we buy supplies? You, I do. It, it's like, it, it doesn't cost anything extra. Like if you click on one of my Amazon links and buy something, um, it doesn't cost you extra, but it's like Amazon will send me like a finder's fee. And it's not a huge amount, but every little bit helps, right? All right, so this one I will sell because it's kind of got that mod look and there are people that like that style. Okay, then these earrings, let me try to sell them locally or else they'll go into a lot. I'm excited about my brain is over here with this gold. Keep going, Margaret. There may be more gold in there. Woohoo! All right, next we have, come on now, they're tangled up. How are you even on there? That's what I want to know. Something is tangled in a way that I can't get it untangled. Okay. A leather, little leather strap bracelet. And this will probably sell as well, depending on the, the rope part of it. Because sometimes the rope part gets kind of grody. But it looks kind of good. Maybe it's missing something. Sometimes they have that metal, like some kind of metal plaque right there. Maybe it is. Oh, darn. Your jar. Oh, yeah, I'm hearing that a lot. A lot of the thrift stores aren't doing the jars and bags so much anymore. Come on, untangle you. But there's been a lot of people that have been starting to sell um, online, you know, like jewelry jars and things. I've started doing a jewel, like a mystery jewelry box that you, know, you can buy it on Etsy if you're interested. We're all send stuff. Here's a plastic thing. Here is a, looks like somebody made it. It says Estrella. I just need to find somebody with the name Estrella. And it's a keychain guitar thing. Probably going into a lot. Hello, hello. This one is nasty. It's all torn up. Look at that. This one's been through. Oh, if you could tell me the story of your life, gold bracelet. What would you tell me? Hopefully some fun stuff. <laughs> From the crazy nightclubs and things. Oh, extra bonus hair. Bonus hair. All right, we've got a watch which will end up in my watch basket because I know nothing about watches and I'm saving them up to learn more. Then we've got some bracelets like that. Hang on, my shirt's misbehaving. And then this, oh, it's a, it's a case for one of those like Fitbit type things. I guess you would slip it in there. And I don't know, do these resell? I'm not sure, I'll find out. There's that, cool. Oh, you sell them on Goodwill Auctions Online. And they sell them on Goodwill Auctions Online. Yeah. Okay, this is, is it missing any stones? It's kind of pretty. Uh, I'm looking. No, it's not missing any stones. Let me try to sell that. So it's got this heart with these kind of marcasite looking stones in it. And I guess it's a, like a choker style. 
So there's that. That's cool. Then these earrings, I'm going to set these to the side. We'll look at the earrings at the end. We've got a, a stretchy band with nothing attached. Hey, guys, your time up? Yeah, okay. We've got a big, oh, what is it, a flower charm? I guess somebody bought it for crafts, right? Oh, good. Darlene says she bought some You want uh, from the Goodwill side, it looks like. So here we go. This will probably go into a lot as well. I'm trying to dig because I know I saw a something cool. Oh, this looks like silver. We look like we've got, maybe not. Okay. I just saw the back. So the back is kind of tarnished up like silver. I'm like, oh, it looks like silver. And then I flipped it over and it looks like this on the front. But I'm going to take a closer peek because the back does tar look tarnished like silver. Let me grab my magnet. It's not magnetic, so let me take a closer look at it. Hmm. This is a mystery. Let me see. I'm looking closer now. <laughs> you a tooth. Yuck. Oh, gosh. Okay, if you're not watching live, you have to come check out the chat because <laughs> she found a tooth in there. I found a tooth once. Remember that one time? It was like in a little box or something? Oh, my gosh. I guess I'm going to have to look at this closer later. I, I don't think it's really silver. Just the back kind of looked tarnished like silver. Darn. Oh, well, that's okay. So there's that. You know, I could still, is it an S? I guess that's an S. That's not like a music note. Or is it a music note? What do y'all think? I think it's a cursive S. It's not quite like the music note, is it? Is it? I'm going to look at it closer later. Because it really does look like silver on the back. Okay, I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna put it over here. How about that chain? Let's check the chain. The chain is not magnetic either. Okay, we'll just look at this closer later, so you don't have to sit here and watch me. Let's see. You got a few nice pieces. Okay, cool. Okay, we've got this. Oh, you wear gloves. Yeah, I know. My hands get nasty at the end. All right, little oh, hand ring. Okay, this is really pretty. This almost looks like Coach brand. No, it doesn't say coach. Okay, look at this. Isn't that pretty? If it's not missing any pieces, any stones, there is a mark in there. I'm going to have to, how do you open this thing? This is fancy. I can't even get it open. What do you do to open it? Look, this is the closure on it. It's got a hinge. Is it magically magic? How do you, do you have to poke it down on one end and poke it? Oh, I did it. Okay, I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Okay, there's that. There's that. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going to look at these marks in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you still have your the tooth. You said you're going to use it when you're homeschooling. That's true. I do still have it. <laughs> I did, for whatever reason, I found it again the other day. This says, oh, okay, this has got that little swan, and that is Sw Swarovski, right? Swarov Swarovski. Inside that little diamond shape, rhombus, is the Swarovski swan mark. So yay, that could go for some nice money. Or it might just stay with me. We'll just put that right over there. Because <laughs> I, I like the Swarovski stuff. Ooh, this is another one. It's marked 925. This is a nice bracelet. And right in there, 925. Yay! Wow, we really hit the mother load. I'm looking for any more marks because it has some golden, golden colored pieces. That's nice. Okay. Yay. You have a Chico's bracelet you can't get open, she says. Cindy says. Okay, got some beads. You know what? I might save these because where'd those beads go? My guys and I, they're doing arrowheads. And so one of the things I'm going to teach them to do is um, wrap arrowheads. And so we might save some beads to like embellish the dependence when we do it um, because they're always looking for ways to make money. And so I told them, well, when we do arrowheads, I bought a lot of them. I said, well, let's do wrapped arrowheads and we can sell them on our, our homeschool site. We got some little Claire's clips for the hair, just in case you want to your hair clipped. Okay. Then we've got some more earrings. That'll go into a lot. So excited. Okay. This one's kind of broken. Chipped up. 
and we've got a plasticky one that's cool it is a good jar you guys if you're just getting here wait where did i put that swarovski one i always say that wrong am i saying it right now swarovski swarovski Swar i think i'm saying it right we'll put those over there we'll put the winners over there yay ready for the zombie apocalypse with their that's right we're gonna learn how to do some flint napping <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay, that's an earring. We'll save that for just a second. We've got another bracelet here. That's got some stones. This is like a stackable one. We'll see. It is from Goodwill. We still have this much to go. We're doing great. And we've already definitely, if that is a gold cross, we'll, we'll certainly make our money back. But I bought six jars. This is another thing I, I, I wanted. This big cuff. If I can clean that up, unless it's... But isn't that cool? Is that, watch it be a napkin ring. Watch me try to put a napkin ring on my arm. <laughs> I can't get this on. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. You know, there are those people like that tribal look that, like ethnic would be a keyword. Ethnic, tribal, natural. I can't, it would have to be for a small wrist. Or watch somebody say, oh my gosh, I bought those napkin rings. They're the, <laughs> yeah. Let's see uh, what you got. I got some good stuff. Okay, then there's some of these little, I don't know what they are, they're like tin or something. Well, that's giant. Oh, there it is, I found it. Okay, ha ha, oh, ooh, it's better than I thought, you guys. Okay, so this is the back part that I saw. Watch, I'm gonna flip it over and see the front, ready? Look at it. Oh my goodness. So this was the reason I bought the jar. Isn't it, it's prettier than I thought because I just saw the back of it kind of at an angle because it was in there. Oh my goodness. And look, even the, the top part, the loop, if you can see, if I can hold it, is, is carved up real nice or engraved or whatever. Right, isn't that cool? Now I just have to find a mark on it. And it's thick, like heavy. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, it's got some like druzy eyes and some, what is that green? That's not malachite. What is that? I gotta look up what that green is because it's not malachite. He's got like the, the, the ear pieces kind of, no. I was gonna say they kind of look like lapis, but then they kind of not. Um, I know it's not malachite because malachite's more stripy. But I don't see a mark on it either, but I am almost positive this is going to end up being silver. Oh, this is awesome. I'm surprised Randy's not over here looking at it. <laughs> I know you can hear me in there. It's so cool. Look at this, Randy. Isn't that cool? It is. That's the back of it. That's pretty cool. Sorry. <laughs> Isn't that awesome, you guys? Yeah, I'm, I don't see a mark on it, but I am almost positive that it's... Silver, yeah. Yay! Oh my gosh! Feel how heavy that is. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty hefty. Yeah. Oh no! Okay, Maggie's worried about their pipes. No freezing. We're hopefully it's warming up for you guys. I know it's been really, really bad. Jade? I don't think it's jade. Unless there's like a Mexican jade, is there? I'll have to look at that. I don't know all the stones. I like the stones. I don't know them all. Hey, hey. Okay, so we've got this. This will probably go in a lot or redonate. We'll see. Then, man, that was an awesome piece. Okay, we've got a big red cuff type, or not cuff, but a um, bangle. But it's painted on red. I can see the scratches in it, and I can see through it. Oh, dear. Okay, then we've got this little watch, stretchy band watch, and it says the Jungle Book on the back. Must have been like a McDonald's toy or something. Let's see, then there is this square shaped, I think bracelet, I think. I'm gonna check it with my magnet. Honestly, now I'm like everything I'm checking. Once you find some really nice pieces in a jar, this one is not magnetic, so I'm gonna set it to the side just because of all the other good stuff that was in there. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry, my voice just went up the full octaves. Look at this. Okay, this is super cool. 
look at the okay it's one either either handmade or both or old because it doesn't even have a closure for the pin like so it would just like be pinned on like so isn't this so cool and i'm i am i don't see any kind of marks on it let me look on those i'm going to look on the post part two and also like when you're looking at brooches this one kind of looks like it's handmade but a lot of older brooches one you can you can a you can check the age by the clasp this one doesn't have one and also by the length of this the pin part so like really older ones tended to go out much farther so this could be pretty old if it's not like somebody's arts and crafts project yeah so because of the length of the pin and just the way it's made i mean it looks really so there, there's two options there for in my mind i'm thinking either it's somebody made recently handmade kind of like artisan or it's much older i'm gonna look with my loop real fast i'm gonna look close because i don't see any kind of maker's marks or any stamps or any anything so I'm gonna leave this to the side and we'll test it with the other one. <gasps> it was a stick pin. Yeah. All right, it's going over here. Oh, yay. Okay. I don't feel so bad now that I bought all those jars. Cause yeah, that, you know, if those end up being gold, they can pay for everything. They can pay for it all. Okay, then we've got this necklace. Let's see, is the pin sort of blunt on the end? A lot of older pins were more blunt. Let's take a peek. Uh, ish. I mean, it's still kind of sharpish. You know, kind of. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, the style of it looks more like it's more, I would be leaning towards it's more modern created, but just the length of the pin is, and that there's no clip for it is kind of what's throwing me. But then if it's like somebody made it, then. They can make it however they want, right? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like something you don't find every day. Absolutely. Yeah. When I have, oh, yeah, totally. Okay. Oh, I always love these. Okay. This is a, it's a bracelet, but it's a rosary bracelet. And I, and I think there's another name for them where you can do your rosary on the bracelet. And it's got your crucifix on there. Those are cute. I had one that I wore and it broke. So maybe I'll take this one to replace it. Is it magnetic? Nope, not magnetic. This one? No, nope, not at all. Nope. Let me set it down just in case. It's because it's kind of heavy. Nope, not magnetic. Falling out. Us? Yeah, we're we're in the 50s today. If you're talking to me, here's another pin that I think is cool that will sell. Look at that. So it's kind of got that like brutalist look, that hammered and beaten style um gosh and there was there's a maker that's known for this and i think liz claiborne has done some pieces kind of like this too but i don't see a maker's mark on it but i i, I don't think i'll have any problem selling that that'll that'll go <laughs> okay let's see what do we have next i'm putting again i'm putting all the earrings i find up here in, until we find mates another one of these like so oh i'm excited Ooh, this is fun. Okay, hang on. You get to come over here. Oh, I'll sell this. This is fun. All right, so it's these beads, these like barrel beads, and it's a wraparound bracelet. I'm so excited about this jar, you guys. I haven't had a jar this good in a long time. Snowing there again. Oh, man, we wish. We had snow. All right, so that's kind of cool. That's a cool bracelet. Then this one's just like plastic beads all strung on there. There's one little Aurora Borealis on there. What are you doing on there, little buddy? <laughs> you look out of place. Okay, you can go over there. And then these are those, I always forget, are they called satin wrapped? I always forget what they're called. Those ones that are kind of wrapped. This one's kind of like messed up a little bit. Okay, then we've got...
now? Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Oh, Tom's there. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, wait. I am plugged. No, still no. You're kidding me. Better? Yes? Okay. Woo! These ones these can go over there. There. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Hug. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. <laughs> okay, next up. We got these. The elastic is shot in it, so that'll go over there. And another one. This one's okay, but it'll still go into a lot. Oh, good. I hope that I hope y'all didn't miss a whole lot. I try to keep an eye on the chat, but who knows? Who knows? Okay, this one's kind of cool. Is it missing any stones? Okay, so it looks almost like a buckle on this end. It's not missing any stones that I can see. And it's got this leather strap buckle for the closure. I know, Tom, guess what I found? <laughs> Sorry. Look, this is marked 14 karat gold, Tom. And then look, look, this one might be gold too. It's not marked. And then, and then, and then, Tom. Sorry, I'm geeking out for my friend. And then look, cool. I think it's silver. Oh, wait, there is there a mark on there? Oh, there is a mark on the top. See? It's marked 925 on the on the top of the loop right there. Zoom. Ta-da! Watch it. This looks like one of those, like, it would be like a cursed idol. Oh, my nails don't look their mess. They <laughs> think so. <laughs> okay. So this is cool. I think this will sell pretty well. That looks cool. Okay, next up, uh, you should do a mystery box of just pins and brooches. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I've got enough of them. Okay, yay. Okay, then there's this bracelet, which I'm not gonna see if I see any marks on, or let's do the, it's not magnetic. Otherwise I would just, normally I would just say, eh, it's probably not anything. But once you found gold and silver in a jar, you look at everything closer. Uh, it's nice, so I'll stick that over there. I don't, this earring looks like big light. If I'll see if I can find a meat in there. But you know what, since I bought all the jars, the deal is that sometimes the, like you might find earrings in this jar. I bought five, you know, six jars. So the mate to the earring could be in one of those other jars. So we'll see. But I'll look at that earring in just a second. I'm sticking all the earrings up top. That's interesting. Okay, but there's no, there's, I don't see the mate. Again, bracelet. I'm getting down to the bottom. Sometimes you find some cool stuff in the bottom. This looks like a clip on earring. Hang on. I'm digging. Sometimes the good stuff sticks to the bottom. Sometimes. Wait, I need another tub to dump this in. I'm looking. Oh, we've got more staples. Lucky us. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm going to scoop this over to the side and dump this. Okay, that'll make it easier for me to pull stuff out. There. What do I do with the empty jars? I either um, re donate them or I recycle them. Okay, I'm digging through what's left down in the bottom just to see. Because sometimes it's just like broken bits and stuff. Sometimes it's good stuff. Ooh, this is a cool earring. I'm hoping that the ear, the mate is maybe in one of the other jars. We've got some earrings here that look like this. Let's get our magnet out and check them. They are not... Magnetic, so I'm gonna look a little bit. You need some staples? We got staples now. I'm looking at these a bit closer. Like I say, normally I may not have looked at quite as close, even I should. But when you start finding good stuff, I don't see anything. But so I'm looking, I'm looking around the parts where they clip, you know, where they bang together to see if it like scraped off any of the finish. If it was like not. Mm, I'll just stick them to the side. If we're going to test stuff, I can just test it all. I'll just throw them in there with the testing, the testing stuff. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. That's in there too. Okay. And again, 
It's not magnetic. It's got that, again, that brutalist hammered look. Can't tell if that's just messed up on the top or if it's scraped off. What's going on with that? Might be just brassy, copper, plated something. But I, I'm going to stick it to the side since we have found other things. And then we've got this, which I... I'm kind of at a loss. It kind of looks like it would be a pendant, but that curly hue on top, like, is not sealed. So I don't know what the deal with that is. The back is cool. I don't know what that mark is either, though. So, looks like handmade made brass, Tom says. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, here's what I'll do. I'll go get my testing kit if you guys want. If you guys are cool, I'll go get it. It's in the other room. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You see something? Okay, it's not probably good. Okay, I saw the green. I was like, oh, oh, could it be? Could it be? But it looks like it's just uh, costume jewelry. But it looked like peridot for like a second there. And again, I, uh, this pendant was in there, but it doesn't. It doesn't look like any. I am double checking everything down here now. Because of what we found. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll go get my testing kit if you want to hang tight for one second. It's just in the other room. As far as earrings go, most of these earrings didn't turn up the mates. So what I'll do is hang on to them until we get the other jars unjarred. I have one here that looks like a gold post, so I'm just taking a closer look at it. No. Okay. So if you guys are cool, can we do a testing video? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll go grab my, grab my thing. If you're interested in seeing like my whole process, I've done another video where it's like pointing down where you can see my hands and all the process and everything. I'll have to link it. But yeah, where are you? Are you cool? Okay, if you're good. Tom says he turns single earrings into pendants. Here's the deal. Okay, I'm gonna point this at the the shadow box and you guys can play I spy in the chat while I go get it. How about that? Okay, ready? Uh, who's gonna start? Here, but, Tom, if you want to start, can you pick something? Say I spy something red or green or whatever. I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I'm back. Do we have a troll for real? Okay. Oh, you see something up there. Oh, not up there. What was it? Was it Hedwig? <laughs> okay, she said I spy something white. All right, I've got my kit. And if you're interested, I have my kit linked down below. It looks like this. <laughs> well, except for the gloves. All right, I'm going to scoot this back because I need to put my gloves on and get a little spot. <laughs> oh, I need to buy new gloves. Yeah, these gloves are kind of dirty. So I've got my little... What do you call it? Stone to mark the things on. I need to find the least grody of the gloves because I need new gloves. You thought it was a hairy troll <laughs> up there. I've got beaker up there. Is that what you meant? The orange hair. The orange hair up there is beaker from the Muppets. You need a That one. Okay, here we go. The gloves are going on. You thought it was a troll doll. <laughs> it's beaker. There. Poor beaker. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make a line. Again, I have... You should do... You should... Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I could do the powder. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line on here with this. 
technically it has two pieces, but I'm just gonna do the main piece for now. And I'm gonna make a line. Again, I have another video where I, I share better. So I find a spot that's not really conspicuous and I made a line there. Again, this one doesn't have any kind of mark, so I don't even know where to start with that, really. We'll do the one that Tom says looks like probably brass. We'll do that one, too, just for funsies. It's to, Yeah, you can see my, my gloves are... Okay, so then I'll do this one next. My next line. So I've got two lines now. I'm going to keep these in order. Yeah, definitely uh, wear gloves if you're using... <laughs> The acids. I'm going to do these earrings just because I didn't find a mark and they're not magnetic. Just for fun. Even though I, my gut's telling me they're not. And look, even when you scrape it, you can see it's totally a different color. These two are more yellowy and this one's more like orangey, pinky colored. But we'll see. And then finally, we've got this one that's smart 14K. And I'm using the back on it. Oh my gosh, that sounds horrible. I don't think that's gold. Close your ears. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe it was like chalk on the fingernails on the chalkboard. So you can see the different colors. Like that's a totally different color there. All right, here we go. So I'm going to start with, uh, I guess I'll start with a 10K. So basically I'm going to draw a line with a 10K. Oh, you know what? I didn't grab a napkin. Hey, James, can you grab me a napkin from the pantry? Thank you. Um, a paper napkin, not a, not a fabric napkin. Okay, I'm going to draw a line going down. My, my video, you can see better because I have the, the camera angle down. They're on the same, they're on the bottom shelf. There's like, there's a square napkins. I can't really tilt it so you can see, but basically what I'm looking for is if the line disappears. Like, need more light. Hmm. It looks like my line's disappeared. I'm gonna check on my, cause that one is marked 14K, but champs are, stamps are cheap, you know what I mean? Champs are steep, St stamps are cheap. I'm trying to get good light. So I can really see, they kind of all vanished. Okay, they could be all not gold. And that would be okay too. All right, let's try it again. Oh no, I dropped it. Okay, this is gonna be one of those days, I can tell. I, well, maybe not, I just dropped something. Doesn't mean the day is ruined, right? Okay, I'm going down to get the thing, because it fell on the floor. Hang on. Sorry, y'all. No, 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 no. I just dropped my stone thing. Okay, so now I need to redo it because I stepped on it. Oh, brother. Amateur hour. Well, this was not planned. Come on. Take it easy on yourself, Margaret. Okay, so which one was this? Just listen to that. This doesn't even sound right. Mm -mm. That doesn't even sound right. Okay, so let me do 14K on it, even though I think that has basically vanished under the 10K. So yeah, I'm, hmm. I don't think they are. The top one, okay, this, this one, I can kind of still see the lines. This one, I don't. So, huh? I can't. I can't tilt it up for you to see. Okay, so I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do them again, maybe in better light. But like you say, even though they're marked, it doesn't mean that they are necessarily gonna be true. So, oh well, that's okay. So yeah, like I say, this one is marked. 14k and I was kind of hesitant about it because of the coloring, but I don't know. Okay, like I say, I'll retest it later. Yeah, the powder is from my <laughs> gloves, the inside of those gloves. I'll retest later and see what I think in better light. But oh well, that's okay. Some of the other things, hang on. 
are certainly going to make the money back like this piece and i think even if this one doesn't end up being gold it's still cool enough that it'll bring a good profit okay so that is it some of the other good finds from here we're going to look at later this s necklace then we've got this silver bracelet and this one which is a swarovski crystal bracelet which is nice okay and again i'll i'll update you i'll put i'll post something on my texas gal treasures page because the lighting in here though it looks good on on the camera it's not super bright so i'll have to check it again in just a minute okay well thanks guys for coming to hang out while i unbought and jarred this jewelry it was so fun and i definitely i'm going to make my money back and yeah so thanks for coming to hang out and i will talk to you guys later bye everybody